Hey guys, welcome to Worth Splurging For, a new series where I'll be covering all things, products, gifts, experiences that I think are worth that extra expense. Now in this video, we're gonna be talking about fragrances and I'm gonna be sharing all of my favorites from my perfume collection. And of course, everything we discuss in this video will be linked in the description box below. And if you wanna see more videos from me, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you know anytime I post a new video. And if you wanna see which nine fragrances are worth splurging for, let's get into it. So first up, you guys, is Musk by Kaoli. And I discovered this brand, honestly, just looking at Instagram, you know, Pinterest, all the like. And I noticed that a lot of people have the like Kaoli bottle that's red, which is, I believe, the apple scent. But this is the Musk scent. And the top notes are vanilla orchids, amber woods, and Tonka Absolute. It's a very sweet, amazing smell. It's actually what I'm wearing today. Um, I think the deodorant I'm wearing is vanilla and so I kind of feel like you can layer in all different types of way, not just with your perfume. You can obviously layer because of your deodorant, the kind of lotion you use, even like the shampoo or conditioner or hair oil that you use. All of those things contribute to your fragrance, of course, and also the kind of skin you have. If you have drier skin, you know, it's definitely going to take in heavier scents. If you have oilier skin, it's definitely going to make things smell a little bit more robust. So you definitely want to pay attention to things like that as well. But I do love this scent because it is so sweet without it being juvenile. It's like a sophisticated sweet, and I really, really love how it smells. I also think that the bottle is beautiful. If I'm not mistaken, Kaoli is a brand by Mono uh, Katan, who is um, Huda's sister from Huda Beauty. And she has done a remarkable job with just like the bottles and the scents. I don't think I have smelled anything from the brand, which has only been a few fragrances that I didn't like, but this one was definitely the one I liked the most. They do have a vanilla scent, so I'm actually going to see if I can get my hands on that as well. But when I've smelled the musk, it really was my cup of tea. I absolutely love this. I could wear this every day and it doesn't make me sick. I love sweet smells on when it's on me. It lasts long, it lasts throughout the day. And honestly, I just like how it makes me feel. It's very feminine and sweet and light and everyday fam friendly, in my opinion. So next up is the Replica Beach Walk, which I absolutely adore. I love this scent so much. And I don't know what it was. Maybe it was because of the bottle shape, because I don't know, this isn't necessarily my favorite bottle shape, you know, the fabric kind of threw me off, you know. And for if you're not familiar, Replica is the Mason Margiela fragrance brand. And I was like, you know what, I see this everywhere. You know, a lot of people that I enjoy following talk about how they enjoy Replica fragrances. Let's give it a try. So when I was in Sephora, I smelled this and I really, really liked it. The top notes are bergamot, which I gravitate towards a lot, um, heliotrope and coconut milk. So it has this very kind of, I would describe it as like fresh yet sweet and kind of it's very, it, it really is beach walk. Like it does make me think about sunshine and kind of being outside. The fragrance description on the bottle says sun-kissed sun salty skin. And I absolutely enjoy this. I actually like layering this, uh, layering this a lot. I actually wear this with one of my Jo Malone fragrances and I feel like it just works so well together. I, I do like this a lot as like a layering kind of piece in my fragrances, which is something that I've recently started doing probably within the last like year, year and a half. Like layering my fragrances to me allows you to have like this unique smell. I think you can do it with one or two fragrances. You can, or not one, obviously. You can do it with two or three fragrances. You can do it, like I mentioned earlier, with the lotion, the kind of deodorant you're wearing, the kind of hair oil you're wearing. And it's really about making it your own scent. And I love how Beach Walk smells 
smells on me. With my skin, it does last all day. And it really works well with other fragrances because it is kind of like this neutral smell in a sense that it doesn't air on the too floral side. There's not really any florals, uh, you know, it's not overly done. It's not overly sweet. Like it's certainly not as sweet as the Kaoli Musk. It really is this beautiful scent. Definitely during like spring and summer months, this is something that I could gravitate towards. But because I love it so much, I have worn it all year round. This next fragrance makes me feel so womanly. That's the only way I can really describe it because it just makes me feel like a grown woman. And that is the Erin Cedar Violet fragrance. It is glorious. I absolutely love it. In fact, I love the brand so much that I gifted everyone from my team, with the exception of Chris, of course, um, a, a fragrance from the brand. Um, for those of you guys who are not familiar, Erin is the fragrance brand of Estee Lauder. It is so, so good. And Cedar Violet just really smells like, I don't know how to describe it. The top notes are Virginia Cedar Wood, Amber, and Violet Leaf. And it's like this woodsy yet floral, just beautiful, beautiful scent. And I really gravitate towards this scent in the fall and the winter. I don't know, maybe it's the woodsiness of it all. I really tend to gravitate towards it in the cooler months. I don't really wear it as much in the spring and summer, but of course you can wear this whenever you want, right? It's up to you. You can wear things whenever you'd like, but it just has such a sophisticated and robust scent. I really, really love it. And it, to me, this is one of the fragrances that I don't layer with, right? Because it is so straight to the point. I think it did what it was supposed to do and understood the assignment with one take. It doesn't need any help or any assistance. And I love it so much. I love that it has this gorgeous, like, I love the, even the bottle of it, like this gorgeous green on top. And all of the Erin bottles have like a gorgeous kind of gemstone as a top. And it's absolutely, it's just wonderful. It's just, it makes me feel womanly, rich, feminine, powerful. I think that's the way I would describe it. It kind of gives me like a new sense of self every time I wear it, which might sound silly, but I do think that is the power of a fragrance and you don't want to underestimate the power of your sense of smell. And I really, really love it. So if you are looking for something feminine, woodsy and you kind of gravitate towards those types of smells i'm telling you cedar violet is absolutely worth the try next on the list is byredo bal de afrique which is one of my go-to's like for every day i of course love everything that i'm mentioning here to you guys today however you can see because i'm like halfway down that i use this quite a bit i like this by itself i like to layer with it it really is gorgeous. The top notes of this are bergamot, again, which is one of my favorites, African marigold, and buku, which is a shrub in South Africa, and it just smells good. That's, that's the only way to describe it. It just smells good. It really, again, has this kind of like moderate smell, right? So it's not overly floral, but it definitely has some floral to it, and it's not sweet. It almost, dare I say, it almost kind of smells, it's like a floral with like a tinge of spiciness and it has like a richness to it that is absolutely beautiful. To me, this is one of those scents that you can wear all year round. I absolutely adore it. And like I said, it blends really well with like the lotions I have, with a couple of other fragrances I have. So to me, this is one of those that you can mix up and layer or you can wear it on its own and it's absolutely gorgeous easily one of the fragrances I wear the most and completely worth splurging for. So I have another Byredo fragrance on my list and that is Gypsy Water. Love, 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 love this so much. In fact, it was the first fragrance I've ever purchased from the brand and it is beautiful. I like it because it is like this Follow me here. It's like this floral, spicy, fruity smell, if that makes any sense to you. Just to give you some insight, the top notes of this are lemon, pepper, bergamot, and juniper berries. Now, not to get confused with lemon pepper, because that would be very Atlanta of me. However, lemon, 
as far as the fruit is concerned, and then pepper, juniper berries, and bergamot. Again, I love bergamot. You will notice that a lot of these scents have that as a top note. It's what I gravitate towards the most. I actually love the fragrance um, from roses. Like I love rose as a top note. However, I'm allergic. So I kind of feel like my caveat was bergamot. And Gypsy Water does that. Again, this is one of those beautiful scents that I feel like, again, I can wear every day, one, and that I can wear alone. I do feel like since it does, it's a very layered fragrance, you know, because it does have floral fruit and like that spiciness from the pepper and that citrus. So it kind of has all of these different types of layers, which is why I think it is beautiful by itself and on its own, at least for my taste and how it smells on my skin. But I do really like it. I do feel like if you're going to try a fragrance from Byredo, I do feel like Gypsy Water is such a good intro to all the other scents that they have. I think they do a good job across the board, but I do feel like Gypsy Water is just a classic from them. And it smells really great and it gives you a little bit of everything. If you're not, you know, if you're not scared of new things, Gypsy Water is definitely for you. So I could not do this video without talking about Jo Malone, who I love. I just love their fragrances. They do a really, really good job. And first on the Jo Malone list is the Nashi Blossom Cologne. It is so, so good. It is like this fruity yet sweet and, and fruity more so in like the citrus scent. But the top notes for this are lemon, if you're seeing a theme here, white musk, and Nashi Blossom. And it's just so good. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this was, if, you'll, if you're familiar with Jo Malone, this is a little bit different than the traditional kind of rectangular bottles. I believe this was limited edition, but it became so popular that they ended up keeping it. They did like four different ones. I think it was like one with like a yellow top, red, blue, and then this is the green top. I love, love a circular kind of bottle, like a cylinder kind of bottle. So this was totally my cup of tea as far as like a visual and the packaging of a fragrance. However, the smell of this is great. I'm going to start wearing this a lot more now that the weather is starting to get warmer. But I absolutely love wearing this in the spring and the summer. You know what? It's not something that I often layer. It's one of those things that kind of stands alone. But again, because it does have different types of notes because of that citrus, that floral and that little bit of, you know, fr you know, fruitiness, that that fruitiness is really, really nice to me. And I love how it blends beautifully with the musk. I think it's really, really nice for spring and summer date nights, especially. But this is totally something that I would wear every day because I'm that extra. But if you are a fan of like a citrus musk situation and you haven't tried Jo Malone, I definitely think this is one worth trying. My next fragrance is probably no surprise and I'm okay with being this predictable, but the Jo Malone London Nectarine Blossom and Honey Cologne is that wonderful. It is worth putting on this list no matter how predictable it is. I absolutely love it. It's this gorgeous kind of sophisticated, sweet, fresh smell. The top notes are cassis or cassis, however you want to say it, acacia honey, and peach. And it is so, so nice, you guys. This is a really beautiful fragrance to layer with. I feel like this is something you can layer with and going on the sweeter side. You can even enhance more of like the fruitiness of it. And it just works. This is something that I often wear. This is probably one of like my go-tos for every day, but especially in the warmer months for spring and summer. It just works. However, if this is like your type of smell, you can wear this any time of the year that you want. And I don't know what it is, but the classic Jo Malone London cologne bottles just work for me. That rectangular bottle, this, you know, little silver top, it just looks really, really pretty in flat lays on your vanity. I just really like it. But this nectarine blossom and honey will never get old to me. I really, really do enjoy it. Oh, you know, I could not do this list without mentioning Tom Ford. And I have a just admiration and overall love and likeness for Tom Ford Ombre Leather. It is a gorgeous scent. And I mean, you could literally do an entire video on Tom Ford scents, let's be honest. They're just, 
I mean, remarkable. I mean, they smell glorious. They just stand out in comparison to so many other fragrances without question. I really like the, the ombre leather though, because it, it to me, I think that Tom Ford, they do a really good job with kind of mixing these very masculine scents with very feminine scents, and they end up just merging beautifully. For ombre leather, the top notes are black leather, violet flower, and jasmine flower. So it is this beautiful kind of floral scent that is really kind of dominated by like this masculine black leather scent. And it smells really great. It's just a really interesting smell. I like it. I do gravitate towards it towards the fall. I love like going between this and Aaron um, Cedar Violet. They're just these really powerful and interesting smells that don't really smell like a lot of the other fragrances I have. And I just like it. I not only have this, but I have the travel size that I'll stick in my purse because if I forget to put on a fragrance when I leave the house, I don't think I ever mind smelling like ombre leather. It just works. It just makes me feel great. I mean, I have other Tom Ford scents that I really do enjoy, but I do gravitate towards ombre leather the most. If you're somebody who enjoys masculine scents with just a touch of feminine, just a touch of floral, then I absolutely say that ombre leather is for you. I love it. Are you ever going to get tired of the Tom Ford packaging? Likely not. The black matte bottle with the white text is just classic and it looks beautiful on my vanity. I love looking at it, but even more, I love smelling like it. So last but certainly not last on my list is Apple Brandy by Killian on the Rocks. This is the first time I have ever purchased from this brand. I've heard lots of good things. And Apple Brandy was so interesting to me when I smelled it because it was like woodsy or kind of like distinctive yet fruity. It was just really, it, it smelled like nothing I had ever smelled before. Of course it does have that smokiness like from brandy and it does have that fruitiness from the apple. However, the top notes to this are pineapple, cardamom and bergamot. So it goes back to what I love and what I know, but in this really kind of new and refreshing way. This was one of my monthly favorites from the top of the year. And I loved it because it really did, like I, like I said, it didn't smell like anything I had smelled before. Certainly like none of the other fragrances that I have, even though one of the top notes is bergamot. I love how gorgeous the bottle is. And it does kind of, it reminds me of ombre leather in a way that it has almost like a masculine kind of element to it. And I think it is that cardamom and that kind of brandy element to it. Cardamom is very, very distinct, but it's really refreshing when it's done right. And I think that's what Apple Brandy did. Like I said, I cannot get over this bottle. It is just, it's just beautiful. I love the gold. I love the, I guess it's the etching in the glass. It's like beautiful. It's just great. And I love smelling like it because it always kind of starts a conversation when you hug people or people are around you. They're like, what are you wearing? And I feel like Apple Brandy always is a conversation starter. So easily one of my favorite perfumes in my collection and absolutely a fragrance worth splurging for. And that does it, you guys, for the first installment of Worth Splurging For Fragrances. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really just wanted to talk about stuff that I liked, you know, whether it's products, whether it's gifts, experiences that I really do believe are worth that extra expense. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And of course, every fragrance we talked about will be linked below. And my good people, I will see you in my next video. Bye.